Okay, so today I am going to do some things for Bestow and Bloom, which is a store here in Ashland. And she does cactuses and succulents. And so I found these. And I'm going to put this. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, glitter inside. I already did one. The colors from purple to green. And I just took a little brush and just did that. And then I'm going to do these, which are color sensitive ones. Can you see that at all? You can't. It's green, and then in the sunlight, it will turn like an orange. And this one will turn like a brown. And that's green also. I know you can't see it. And on some of the cactuses, I'm going to use this glitter that I get from solarpowder.com. Solar powder dust. Solar color dust. Let's read it, shall we? Solarcolordust.com. And it's called Dragon's Egg. And it turns green and purple and blue. And then this one is called Mermaid's Tail. Uh, so pretty. And I'm going to put those in some of the cactuses also. And then this is some more ice cube trays that I have. And these are just jewels. And I'm going to take some succulents. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put them in there and then resin on top. And then I'll stick those to ring bases and make a bunch of succulent rings. Oh, I'm going to do another Buddha head, which is going to be gold. And... Some of these that are like holographic flakes um, and they're going to go in the hair or Buddha's head. And then my best friend Aura wants me to make her some horns out of these rocks that I do with gold flake. So I'll put that in the top of those also. All right. I don't know if you want to hang out, but. So it just takes a little bit of this stuff, teeny bits. Um, I think I'm going to do one with these big flakes. Just because the pretty. That was a lot. May put too much in. No, it's fine. So I just really do the base of these. I don't have to think about, let's get those in there. Too much of the sides because I'm only going to fill them up a little bit because they're going to become earrings. Um, just found a chin hair. But you don't see it. Okay. This has to go into the resin. These ones, I have to get a little cup with a little bit of resin and then I'm going to mix this in it. These ones, since they're color, they're light sensitive, they need um, to be mixed. They're not a dust that you sort of just paint on. You have to combine them with the, um, the lacquer. But these don't. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I may have glitter issues. Just let's get that dog hair out. Or it's mine for my chin. So this is the Buddha head that I have. And I made a mold out of the original. And it's a million pounds. Um, and you have to make sure that it's all cleaned out. Because these flakes can get in them. Um, so spray some of this inside of it so it will release easier the glitter or the pigment that I put on it dust on it inside um, will stick to it but not to the mold um, I want to make sure everything that I'm then It's like 
like spraying WD-40. And I think I'm going to do this one gold, but I have very little, that was over exaggerated, sorry, very little pigment left. So that's, I'll be back. This is the magenta, and I just put a little resin aside, mix it really, really well. And just sort of go over it and get all the bubbles out. 